guys, I thought I would share with you a quick update. Many of you have asked about my dad, and some of you have asked what's changed on my skin care. And so I'm going to try to address those two issues or questions. And then at the tail end, if I have photos from the Roaring Twenties event that Jay and I went to, I'll insert those photos in here at the end so you can see. So stay tuned and thank you so much for joining me. Let's talk about skincare first because I think most people would be more in, you know, interested in that than the rest of it. So because it's winter time and I live in New England and we have forced hot air, the air in my house is super, super, super dry. And so therefore, I have to be really super diligent for moisturizing and for making sure that I have my skin in its best possible condition to receive makeup. So skincare changes for me. I don't stay on the same routine day in, day out. I certainly don't stay on the same routine different seasons. So I love to mask and I've mentioned that I, I love to mask. So in the winter time, I make sure that every mask I use, I'm gonna hold these up. Every mask I use is super hydrating. This I got, I love this. This was actually a Christmas present. And this is the seven day mask experimenting kit. And these are super, super hydrating, soothing and hydrating. And oh my gosh, I love these masks. So I use these a lot. I, in the wintertime, sometimes I mask every day. Usually in the wintertime, I mask. Not so much in the summer, but in the winter, I do. And then I've been using Jen Amber's masking system. I really like her masks. I also have been using a lot of her skincare. I have been doing the derma rolling on my face again, and that can be an entire video on its own. But... I've been derma rolling just for those of you that have asked one night a week, my skin and my hair. She has these eye masks and I don't really often use these for eyes. I actually put them on my 11s. I actually put them on here and all that. So I let, I love these masks. Anything, anything hydrating works for me. Now I, I will read the ingredients careful. I'll make sure that it, it's got things that I'm okay with. And then I'll experiment. If my skin reacts negatively to a mask, I don't do it anymore. So basically hydration, cleaning your skin, taking your makeup off, all of that stuff, gommage, all of that's important. I have been, after my first wash, I have been using oftentimes, and I'm gonna read this to you, I have been using the natural AHA, AHA, BHA exfoliating cleanser. This is the one that I got from Gin Amber. So I've been using this. You know, I, I wash this off. I really, really have liked that. And then I oftentimes will use this as a mask. But this is the moisturizing coffee gommage. So I love this. I'm almost out. You can see, big, big dent. What I've been doing with this is I put a thick layer on my face and I massage it in very gently and I let it sort of like sit there and then I rinse it off and it's a gommage and it's exfoliation. It just feels really good. My skin is super, super soft after I do this. So I've been using the Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream from Studio 35. You can get this at Walgreens. I find this to be very, very nice. So I alternate. I don't, I wouldn't use everything at the same time, but I alternate. So during the week, I might use this one day. I use this a lot because I really like this coffee gamage is really wonderful, but I'll be very careful that I don't end up putting on the alpha hydroxy acid at the same time that I'm using this. So I alternate on the days, but most days I wash, I use a gamage. I, my skin feels really super soft. If I'm putting this on, I only let it sit on for maybe 20 minutes or so. Then I rinse it off and my skin feels super, super soft. I also recently got from Primera, I don't know if I'm saying it right. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network from the company. And this is a gel gamage type of a system too. So I will put this on. Lately, I've been using this at night, it's really nice. So I wash my face. And 
I then put this on and I let this sit for maybe five minutes or so and then I start to gently rub and you and it, it's a gamage so you can you can feel the the peeling up of stuff. I don't know if it's skin, I don't know what it is, but excess product. But when I rinse this off, the same thing when I rinse off this, I my skin just feels super, super soft. So this is really awesome. This is natural products, natural ingredients. I think it says, an easy does it botanical based exfoliator that gently buffs away dead surface cells and leaves skin instantly softer and smoother. And this is actually in the key ingredients, a broccoli sprout extract and neem leaf extract for calming. I think this, I think the price point of this is like $38, something of that nature. But this really is a treat. This really feels good. So I have enjoyed using this when I've washed and I've used this. I've enjoyed how it really, I think it makes my skin feel really super good. The other thing that I've done at night, and this is not every single night, and this was also sent to me from the Octoly Network. This is Radiant Labs. I've talked about the lip product that they sent me that I have by my bedside and really like it's a CBD product. Well, this is Radiant Lab. This is Infused Daily De-Stress Serum for your face. 200 milligrams full spectrum CBD and Rose Hydrosol Radiance Vitamin C Antioxidant and Hylocrem Non-Greasy. So I've been using this at night. I don't do it in the morning. It is white. It, I just take a couple of drops of this and it feels really good, but I don't do it in the morning. I just do it at night, mainly because in the morning, I need to make sure it feels really good. It really does, it feels really good. But in the morning, I need to make sure that what I'm using on my skin plays nice with my makeup, and that's been a major issue. So in the morning, I'm still using my Timeless Serums. So after I wash, whether I've done my exfoliation or not, no matter what I've done, on my face. I will sit under my red light therapy, which is the trophy skin that I have, the uh, Rejuvelite uh, system that I have. And I will sit under there and then I put my serums on. So I wash, exfoliate, do whatever it is. And then I will put my serums on. And my serums have been consistently my timeless. I've transferred this. This is my vitamin C timeless in a small little bottle. I use this especially when I travel. And then I have my Matrixel 3000. I really like that. And when I need it, I have the B5 hydration system serum. I don't often need that. But those are my three serums I put on in the morning. And when I have that on, I let it dry. And then I will put on whatever I'm going to be using for a CBD face oil. And the CBD face oil has been a huge game changer for my skin. I think my skin has really benefited from that as far as moisturizing my skin and things of that nature. I don't use as much creams. I don't use as much other products on my face since I've been doing the CBD. It's worked really, really well for me. But the biggest thing for me is getting my skin clean, that surface. So whether or not I'm just going to wash with this, you know, do a face wash, with CeraVe or any other that I have. I have another one that I have in the shower, anything that I'm using to wash my face. Then I'll do a gommage. This is the one I've been using right now. I really like this a lot on the days that I'm not using this. I'm gonna go into the Gin Amber system and I will wash and exfoliate. And sometimes this coffee, oh my gosh, do I love how this feels. This is my favorite Gin Amber facial product. It really is. This is a really good exfoliation wash, but I love the coffee bean. So I've been doing that. And then still, yes, for those of you that have asked, I'm still using the Studio 35, but I'm juggling it. So, you know, my Retin-A and everything at night, I'm doing all that. So I'm very careful. I'm juggling. If I get up in the morning and I get up early enough and I have time, I'm going to do a mask. If not, I'll do the mask at night. After work, when I come home, when I'm settled in, I'll do the mask at night. I, I just really love that. I love the mask, so I'm, I would do that. So um, my dad has been home 
knock on wood, that he stays home. He was able to do Christmas. I know many of you know that. It's been up and down. He's had good days. He's had bad days. We are trying to make him as comfortable as possible and just try to be there for him. He's, 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 I would say he's stable. He's never going to, he's never going to get better. He's 91. He's never going to get better, but we just want what time he has left with us to be, you know, good time, you know, um, He's, he's coherent, he's mobile with a walker, he, you know, most times totally understands everything that's going on, is very hard of hearing, um, so we have to shout at him and stuff like that, but, you know, Christmas was extra special this past year because he was with us in April, on April 9th, it will be their 70th anniversary, wedding anniversary, so we're hoping that they are together that everything and should be you know it should be he's had some close calls he's been in you know we had to bring him in hospital a couple of times since he's been home and he's had some close calls but overall i think that he's doing remarkably well and it's just like super super special that that he's doing as well as he is so uh, i'm thrilled about that the party i'm gonna insert some photos in here at the time of this filming I haven't gone to the party yet and um, because the party's Friday night. So you're going to see this video maybe Sunday night or you'll see it the following week. I'm not really too sure. So at the tail end, I will insert some of the clips in here of the of the um, Roaring Twenties gala event. And I'm just like super happy that I have the outfit and that I feel comfortable with it and, and all of that. So I think that's absolutely great. My 66th birthday, 66th birthday is coming up. Can you, I just can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to be 66. I really can't. So, um, I know some people say, oh, well, you can collect Social Security. Well, you know what? If you collected 66, if you've been an independent contractor all your life, it's not like you're going to collect a bunch of money. So I'm debating, do I collect at 66? Do I wait till I'm 70? What happens if I don't make it till I'm 70? You know, what happens? I mean, there's so many different variable things that could go wrong, I suppose. So I'm trying to decide. I have no plans on retiring yet. So... You know, it's not a matter of that I'm going to stop working and I need to live off of it. I wouldn't be able to live off of it no matter what. But 66, holy cow. I just can't believe it. I remember last year when I turned 65 and I had found my diary and that I, that I wrote when I was a teenager. I think when I was 15 or 14. And, you know, to think that. I found that diary so many years later and I wrote it and I wish sometimes, and I think I recently said it to someone, I just wish I could go back and I wish I could have told my young self a couple of things, but life's lessons. I think we all have to learn them our own way, the hard way, right? And that's, I think with wisdom comes that sort of, yeah, okay, with wisdom, with age comes that wisdom and even though sometimes every day can be a struggle at times, it, it, it is, you know, it is, it is life. And at 60, almost 66, it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So Jay has surprised me for my birthday. I can't wait. I'm going to probably try to vlog that. I'm going to probably try to vlog it. I haven't done a real vlog in a while, mainly because some of you love the vlogs, but some of you don't love the vlogs. And I, I want to have, I don't want to have a vlog of me just walking around saying, oh yeah, here I am vlogging. But I think I want to share the, you know, some of the, what happens on my birthday in a vlog. That's what I'm going to do. So, yep. Yeah, so I am, what do I have on my head? Um, this is my Raquel Welch. This is Flirt Alert. And this is in the color Shaded Wheat. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me, and I will get you later. If you have any questions, leave me some questions, and I'll try to do a video answering, your, answering them. So thank you, guys. Bye-bye.